hey, we have got a treat for you today. I'm telling you. The first segment is the segment where I take two of my daughters, Jasmine and Amy, my two oldest, and their two oldest out for spring crappies. And we caught a couple of bluegills as well, but mostly we were after crappies and caught a bunch and the kids were having so much fun. And I love to do those kind of shows for the sake of my daughters, for the sake of my grandsons, because it's these kinds of things where if your family is watching our show, they're seeing how much fun those kids are having catching those fish. You know what, they're gonna be, Dad, you gotta take me fishing. Mom, you gotta take me fishing. Well, this will be the first time I've ever taken the entirety of F Troop fishing at the same time. <laughs> okay, let's load them up, kids. For me, my two oldest daughters, grandsons Caden and Dylan, spring crappie fishing was the name of the game. Okay, F Troop, are we ready? Man your battle stations. One of the things that I did today was made sure that everybody had a really good St. Croix rod built for crappie fishing. Here's what you do. See, now I put this finger out here and I catch the line right here, like this, and I hold it with this finger, and then I open the bale, and then cast and leave go with that finger. We also were using Cabela's gold spinning reels. Boom! Got one, Mom? Good outfits, balanced right, so the kids can fish with them just like you and I do. Our first crappie. Is it a big one? Jasmine, where was that? Make sure you know because you want to get back to it. There's probably more right there. You got it, Kane? Okay. There you yeah. go. All right. Teamwork. Oh, he's a fighter. Somebody grab the net. Somebody grab the net, Mom. Oh, this is a big one. Bring him in. Mom, I caught one. one. Nice, Kane. Bluegill. No, that's a nice bluegill. I caught a bluegill. You did? Grandpa, Let do me you want to keep the bluegill, too? Why not? Okay. Oh, got boy. It? Beauty. Where's that? Where's my guy with the net who's gonna net this for me? I will. You better hurry. Where's the net? Where's the net? I got him. Look at this one, Dylan. You, you wanna want open to that up for me? Open up the live well for him. There you go. Holy, that's huge. Okay, that's a start, kids. Swing him over. You got him. Look, Dylan. Even mom can one. catch one. Yeah, I got one. Look, he's got a big mouth. Oh, he's a big one. Yeah, we can keep that one. Can you put him in there? Put your thumb in. There's his another mouth. one. Oh, Grandpa's getting one again. They're starting to bite. That's a good thing, Dylan. Oh my God, this is a crappie too. You need a net? Oh, good job. Look at that one. Open the live well. Thanks for your help, sir. Dylan, you're getting a fish. Come on, honey. Nothing like a little chaos. All right, this one is on. Keep do it. Ooh, that's a big one. You're going to have to hold the pole really tight. I'm going to get the net. Oh, oh, that's the biggest one of the day. You did it, Dylan. Get him. Kids and grandkids crappie oh. fishing from a boat okay, together on a sunny spring day. If that is an American classic angling, I don't know what is. Oh, this one's a big one. There you go. Mm -hmm. Put him in the live well and get yourself a mini. You know what that means, though? <laughs> We're going to have a feast of crappies. Oh, one jumped way back in the reeds. I'll bet you there's some big fish back in there. Oh, boy. That one, Grandpa? Oh, yeah. Big I got him. Big one? This is what we commonly referred to as a really nice eater. I got him. That's a huge one, he needed that net. Get the net, get the net, get the net. Oh, that's oh. a toad, okay. Holy, this is a monster. There you go. That's a monster. A monster. Caden may have big fish of the day here, guys. We don't know, but it's possible. I think he's got most fish of the day so far too. Here it's you go. eight. It's eight. That's eight. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Amy's got a. Oh, Amy's got a big one. Grab the net, somebody for Amy. Oh yeah, it is. Get it, mom. <laughs> oh, Dad's got one. <laughs> there you go. Holy. I'll okay, just scoop. Dylan, look at here. I'll scoop mine because the net is occupied. 
Oh, I got the fish. Mommy's got to take the fish out. Wait the a cup. second. That's I, I that's got... three at a time here. Right, right there. Yep. Yeah. Ow. Now they're biting, huh? Right. Hey, Dylan, open that box. I probably for got the, fish. the biggest one today. Was All this right. as big as the one that you tried to catch? That's a big one. Thank you, man. By the way, Caden, you were awesome today, which is exactly what we were hoping to create <laughs> today was an awesome memory Wait, between yeah, Amy and her one. son and Jazz and, and her yeah. son and, and me for two, two of my daughters and two of the grandsons. Look at this one, you guys. <laughs> Spending it all together, making a memory. Got we it? had problems out there. Oh, right off it goes. We had exciting times. Yeah. We had kids jumping around, we had fish flopping. Yeah, you did that one all by yourself. One time a triple on big ones. How about that, a triple header, three at the same time. And all three really nice fish, huh? Everything that can happen in a day like that does. Don't ever make it too easy for the kids. Make them understand how that hunting happens. Make them understand that everybody missed casts. But at the same time, you want them to have fun. Chaos is the name of the game. Oh, Excitement's the name of the game. With five rods that. going off in the boat, tangles are gonna happen. And you know what? It's all good. We're trying to help you inspire them to participate in the outdoors and find out more about what God has given us, what his incredible creation is uh, that is above and beyond our comprehension. But it sure certainly can be enjoyed by everyone. Even if you just take a walk in the woods with your kids, they'll see birds, they'll see different things. I mean, it's all good. But when it comes to fishing, get a rod in their hand, give them, they were using my St. Croix. I'm not gonna give my grandkids a piece of junk because they're kids and I'm gonna sit there and use something else. Bull crap. I'm gonna give them the opportunity to really be able to feel a bite, to set the hook, the, the everything. And Caden, uh, he loves it. 16 years of age and he's been guiding for a couple, three years. He loves to fish, he loves to hunt. Dylan has not had near as much opportunity, but he was sure having a blast that day. We're doing this as a service for you and your family while we're doing it as a service for me and my family at the same time.